Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to a lipstick wear test. Can you see this? Can you see this? I was totally sucked up by Black Friday and I bought this lipstick. Easy enough, I've done the American thing. I had Thanksgiving dinner and afterwards I went shopping because here shops open at 6 p.m. the evening of Thanksgiving and uh, you can go shop Black Friday deals already starting there. So I went to Sephora and uh, I was going to pick up a lipstick for a friend and then I tried that lipstick on in store with a disposable wand. Remember to do it with a disposable wand. And uh, yeah, my husband was just loving it and he told me I really should buy it. So who am I to say no to a new lipstick? You probably know by now from the title of the video, we are talking about the new Fenty Beauty Stana lip paint. This is in one shade, it is a universal red and uh, it released early on Black Friday at Sephora. This uh, lip paint retails for $24 and there were no discounts for Black Friday on this and contains four milliliter of products. To give you a little bit of an idea, the Sephora cream lip stains retail for $14 and contain five milliliters. The Too Faced Melted Matte retail for $21 and contain seven milliliters of product. So it is a little bit of a the more expensive side, but uh, let's move on to the application and I'm gonna read you what uh, Fenty Beauty says about this lipstick. The Stunna lip paint in the shade Uncensored is a one stroke intensity 12 hour matte wear perfect universal red. In a quick summary, it is a weightless 12 hour lipstick with a soft matte finish, born in one head turning red shade that looks incredible on all skin tones. And uh, this was really Rihanna's thing to have a red lipstick that would look good on each and every skin tone and that's what she created. They claim that this will not feather, staying kissably smooth and it will have 12 hour holds in a weightless formula. It is uh, now 11.30 a.m. here and I'm going to wear this lipstick for the rest of the day. It's Black Friday so I'm not expecting to do anything crazy except for eating leftover turkey. Yum, <laughs> from yesterday. And uh, let's take a look at the packaging. This is the packaging the lipstick comes in. It's a very pretty box, very typical for uh, Fenty Beauty lip products. The shade is indicated on the top, uncensored, and you have uh, the ingredients on the back of the box. When you open it up, you have a stopper and then the beautiful beautiful lipstick comes out. The packaging of this is absolutely stunning. It is a stiletto shape with Fenty Beauty on the lid. It, this is chrome silver and it takes fingerprints really a lot. So you can already see I touched this a few times and it's full of fingerprints and I even tried to clean it for this video. But it looks very much like a nail polish bottle to me and a little bit reminiscent of the Louboutin packaging. You unscrew the top and reveal the applicator. The applicator is a bit of a different shape. It has a tapered center and then it comes out again. It is let's say doe foot but not the classic doe foot and uh, it definitely helps to apply a very precise line. The formula of the lipstick is very liquid, so much so that the first time I apply it, I actually found myself with a lot of the lipstick on my teeth just because it was so liquidy. So just keep an eye out for that. It dries down completely matte in uh, just a few minutes. It is a beautiful, beautiful red, classic red shade. It feels very weightless on the lips, definitely and uh, we're gonna see how it lasts actually during the day. In this shot here I compared Stunna lip paint in Uncensored with uh, the Sephora cream lip stain in 01 Always Red, Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in Ribbon 
and uh, MAC Russian Red. These are my favorite reds and you can see that Stun and Lip Paint is actually in between the shades of uh, the Sephora Cream Lip Stain and the Colourpop lipstick and it's a little bit warmer than Russian Red. Overall, these are all different reds, of course. Don't you agree? <laughs> I am back. It is now 1.30 p.m. and I just had lunch. I just wanted to check in with you guys to show you how the lipstick was holding up and do a kiss test and a smear test with uh, the swatches on my arm. So I had an egg omelette with uh, some bread and asparagus. I did have some olive oil on the asparagus. And uh, I actually am very surprised at how good this looks right now. First of all, before lunch, I was sipping my tea and you can see there is plenty of lipstick on the rim of my mug. And this shows you how it is not no transfer or kiss proof. I can do a test on my hand. Here it is empty. And here you have the transfer. However, you can see how beautiful and still very vibrant the color is. And that is a bit the thing with this formula. I feel like it transfers, but you have so much pigment on your lip that it will actually stay looking very, very beautiful. I'm gonna now zoom you in and take a look at how it looks close up. Here we are, and you can see how it's starting to go away in the center of my lip but it looks still very beautiful and vibrant. Also, where it's fading, it's actually fading very nicely. There's no crumbling. It is very soft and moist on the lip. I really don't feel, it's not tacky, so it doesn't stick my lips together that it's annoying to feel. It is not dry feeling and absolutely at all uh, and that is actually a very big advantage compared to my other red liquid lipsticks so overall definitely a good first few hours i am now going to head out and uh, have a walk it's a beautiful sunny day for uh, the end of november i'm actually gonna take advantage of it and i will check back in with you in about four to five hours let's say the end of the day and see how this lipstick held up. Just to give you an idea of how these different lipsticks perform while, uh, when dry, I'm gonna do a smear test and I'm just gonna take a tissue and swipe downwards. You can see how Colourpop ribbon smeared almost nothing. I can probably wipe away MAC Russian Red uh, easily. The Sephora lip stain also came off and but the worst damage was here with uh, Uncensored for, by Fenty Beauty. This is definitely uh, not a kiss-proof lipstick. However, you can see how much of the pigment remains. I'm now gonna go at it with a makeup remover wipe. It's not for waterproof makeup just to see how easy they are to remove and whether they leave stains. Here we go, this is all I could get with a, a little makeup remover wipe. The most resistance to this was definitely Colourpop ribbon, uh, then the Sephora cream lip stain and these two are the ones that also dry the mattest. My Russian Red came pretty much off with a little bit of staining and uh, Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored left quite a bit of a stain on my arm. And uh, here I am back, it is 7 p.m. right now and I've had my makeup on for eight hours. As you can see, I'm a bit of a shiny mess and you can see my, where I had my glasses on. But look at this lipstick. And I am not dying. It's incredible. It lasted really, really well. Since I last uh, saw you, I had coffee, I had cheesecake, I had, and I had a glass of wine waiting for dinner to get ready. 
So I am overall extremely impressed with this uh, lipstick. Let me see if it still transfers. Yeah, definitely. And uh, everything is still there on my lips. I think that is the whole trick with this uh, lipstick. It, you simply put it on and even if it transfer, you keep having more and more pigment and it stays on your lips. I have a little bit of feathering around my lip line and I didn't use any liner today because I wanted to see just the lipstick by itself but I think after eight hours it behaved amazingly. There is no crumbling, no dryness, just a slight fade inside my lip where for example I dragged my spoon or food for lunch. So overall I am really really impressed with the formula. This is one of the least drying formulas I have of uh, liquid to matte lipsticks. I had a similar I think experience with probably the NYX liquid suede but they're so so sticky they never really dry down that you just get stuck to them and in the end I gave all of those away but months ago. This is definitely a surprise. I am very positive surprise and uh, I love this lipstick. The shade is beautiful. The lasting power is amazing. I did leave lipstick everything I touched with my lips, but that's okay. My husband won't kiss me with red lipstick anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and overall, yeah, a very positive first impression. Wear test was great. I cannot call it a review, of course, because I've used it now a total of maybe 10, 11 hours. Today, eight hours, two or three hours yesterday. But I will keep you posted on my social media or in favorites, you'll see it come through. I really, really am impressed with this lipstick. Is it worth the $24? I think so. It, it really, really is good. And I didn't feel the need to, I don't know, take everything off and moisturize today. I'm yeah, it feels really good. So this concludes my wear test for the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. This is the perfect red for me. I love the shade. Again, be loving the formula today. And uh, let me know down below if you're planning on picking this one up or if you did during Black Friday what your thoughts were and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye!